the Philippines has the fastest growing HIV epidemic, 80% of the cases, mostly men having sex with men, mostly young, who are from the age of 15 to 34 years old. So they do risky behaviors and it's unprotected. So ngayon kasi yung awareness sa HIV awareness, hindi pa ganun kalawak eh. In a span of eight years, the number of HIV cases in the Philippines has risen by 203%. HIV is spreading fastest in the Philippines than anywhere in the world. A law was signed in 2018 aimed at easing restrictions on HIV prevention, from rights of the young to seek health care to allocation of budgets for medicines and sex education. But the Philippines' policies are failing to target those most vulnerable, men having sex with men, or MSM. There is the law, but the teeth is not there yet. So now, papunta tayo sa isa sa ating mga community centers. Nag-invite tayo ng few people para mag-provide tayo ng HIV 101. Ten years ago, Dr. Vin Pagtakhan noticed that HIV infection in the Philippines was becoming more rampant. Yet social services are few and inaccessible. So, he established a volunteer-run HIV awareness advocacy called Love Yourself PH. I am a person not living with HIV, but I am a person affected by HIV. I had a long-term partner 10 years ago who passed away because of HIV. He was a person who got diagnosed late. I believe that if it was managed earlier, if it was managed on time, the results would have been different. And I want to change the culture and the structure and the framework of what's happening in the country because I believe that, you know, if you want to help people, you need to empower them. Kasi meron tinatawag tayo na chain of transmission. So meron siyang period of communicability. Kailan ka mga kahawa? More than half of Filipino youths engage in sex, and schools are required to teach students about sex education. But according to Dr. Vin, due to cultural stigma, the reality is quite different. And men who have sex with men, who account for majority of HIV cases, are disproportionately affected. They don't have access to the tools required to assess risks and consequences. The Philippines has a very big issue of having sex as a taboo. Schools don't talk about sex, when in fact, you need to talk about it earlier in a child's life so that they know what to do eventually when they get exposed to it. It's not who you are that puts you at risk for HIV. It's really what you do. First time na natutunan ko kung ano nga ba ang HIV, ano nga po ba ang AIDS, kung paano ba nahawa, kung paano natatransmit, uh, hindi talaga tinuturo siya about sa school. Mga, mga sakit na pwedeng makuha sa pakikipagtalik, hindi talaga siya tinuturo sa school. Always make sure na we help in assisting on how to bust those myths. Kasi you are the market, you are the generation, and you will be it's More than 50% of our cases are young and they're in a relationship. They're monogamous. Unfortunately, their partner aren't. And the thing is that many of the, uh, the youth, they expose themselves to risks because they feel that's the only way for them to be reaffirmed or affirmed or feel accepted and loved. And it goes down to the idea of poor self-worth. People think lowly of themselves. They think that social media dictates who they are. It's 
So just for example, in Twitter, we have hashtag alter PH. These are young men who do shows, online shows, just like OnlyFans, but it's free. <laughs> so they do shows, they cover themselves, they do risky behaviors, they do sex online. So um, why are they doing it? They're doing it for the likes, for the shares, for it's not even for the money because it's for free. Yung alam ko lang sa HIV kasi nga nakita ko sa tito ko namatay siya. So, ang alam ko lang pag may HIV ka, pag may HIV ka, mamamatay ka na. Pag may HIV ka, nalagyong ka ng mga taong pinagkakatiwalaan mo. Pag may HIV ka, piling ko lahat ng taong nasa paligid mo nalagyong ka na niyan. Hoy's experience did little to empower him on safe sexual practices. Especially when he decided to engage in sex work. Now, Poi lives with HIV. Pero kapag hindi ko gumamit ng condom, mas mataas ang offer. Kahit gumamit ako ng paulit-ulit ng condom, kung hindi naman tama at hindi naman palagian yung paggamit ko ng condom, magkakaroon at magkakaroon talaga ako ng HIV. Kasi hindi naman sa ginagawa ng isang tao yan eh. Sa behavior yan ng isang tao talaga. In case of Poi, it's making ends meet because he wants to support his family by doing his best to provide financial support to them. And that's a very common story for most of our persons living with HIV. Because most of young men who are having sex with them are breadwinners. And um, it's a culture in the Philippines that young gay men or MSMs, they support their family. The Philippine government provides free HIV testing, as well as medicines that reduce HIV transmission like pre-exposure, prophylaxis, and antiretroviral therapy. It's widely available in both private and government-owned health clinics. However, according to reports, some 32% of persons living with HIV avoid going to public health clinics. I think some city governments and social hygiene clinics and healthcare providers need to learn more about providing customer service. For example, some um, of our LGBTQIA plus brothers and sisters feel offended because they clearly have long hair and they have makeups and they have they're wearing a dress and they're being called a sir. And it feels bad and you know you would be traumatized and you wouldn't want to go back there. That's why Dr. Vin wants to provide a refuge for persons living with HIV. Ito na yung mga ano mga Ginawa kong kasalanan, ito na ba yung mga bayad na ito sabi ko sa sarili ko? Ano po ba yung mga dapat kong gamit? Most of the stigma that we see as healthcare provider is self-stigma. It's like they're judging themselves. Even before other people judge them, we need to provide counseling and empower a person living in each time that it's not your fault. Ah, ito pa rin. Umiiwas pa rin ako sa family ko. Always remember na at your own pace, no? So kung kailan ka ready, kung kailan ka uh, handa na pag-usapan yun sa mga taong malalapit sa'yo. And then that's the only time that it's okay to share it with them. Dito ko nahanap yung, ano, yung family na hindi ko nakita sa totoong familia ko. That's something that I want our clients to feel. Because that's what I want to feel when I'm being taken care of, when I'm sick, or I feel bad or sad or devastated, if there's someone who empathizes with me, it would mean the world. But in a country with nearly 100,000 HIV cases, reversing the epidemic requires more than individual efforts, but structural changes to the way the Philippines' policies adapt to the changing epidemic. One out of 10 cases in our community center of HIV-positive people are men and what one out of 10 are women, straight men and straight women. So that's why we need to do it and act fast because it, the, the landscape is changing. We are starting to reach the MSMs, but right now it's already starting to actually move and transition to heterosexual people acquiring HIV. If that happens, it will be harder for us to fix this epidemic because it's not going to be a localized epidemic anymore. At the end of the day, the private can do so much, but 
the most sustainable organization will always be the government.